Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through what a casual day of getting ready looks like for me. One of the first things I do every morning, as you guys may know, is I slice up a lemon and sometimes an orange and I squeeze out the juice and have that with lots of fresh water. It's really great to hydrate your body first thing. It's amazing for your skin and the vitamin C will promote collagen production, which is great for anti-aging. Plus, it's also really good for your digestion. So I'll make that for myself and I'll have it whilst doing my makeup, which I like to keep really light and fresh. This is the foundation I've been using recently. It's called the Velvet Matte Skin Tint and it is amazing. It's super lightweight, but the coverage is really good. I'm a big fan of the NARS foundations and this is their newest one. And I just applied that with a buffing brush by Real Techniques, but I've also applied this foundation just using my fingertips and I really love the finish of that as well. So as you can see, the foundation just blurs out any imperfections and kind of just evens out my skin tone, but it's still really lightweight and has a nice soft velvety matte finish which I love. It also comes in 12 different shades with different undertones ranging from light to dark. I also love the packaging of this foundation. It's great to just kind of throw in your bag and keep with you on the go. Applying some concealer right underneath your eyes can really just brighten up your whole face and make you look really fresh and rested. This is one that I always go to. It's my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and I like to just blend that out with a dampened beauty blender. And then to set that I always use my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. This stuff is so good, it's so finely milled and it literally keeps your concealer from creasing the entire day. It does such a good job of brightening up the under eye area. And again using my dampened beauty blender I just press that underneath my eyes. And then whatever powder is left on the beauty blender, I just kind of bounce that over my face to set the foundation. Even if I'm in a really big hurry, I always love to do my brows and just fill them in. This is a brow set from Kiko, which is really great. I first just take the waxy part and apply that over my brows. It just helps them to lay flat. And then taking a mix of those two colors on a pretty precise flat angled brush, I'm going to just fill in my brows just to make them look a little bit fuller and more defined. Next, I'm going to put some color back on my skin using the NARS Casino Bronzer with a fluffy brush. I'm basically just going to make the shape of a number three on the side of my face, so hitting my forehead, my cheekbones, and my jawline. I'm not really too big on shadows for every day, but I do like to take that bronzer with a smaller fluffy brush and just run that through my crease. It just kind of adds a little something, but it literally takes like two seconds and I think it looks really nice. And then I just run a little bit down the sides of my nose as well. And then just for a little touch of blush on my cheeks, I take this beautiful pink one by Milani in the shade Tea Rose and I just pop that on the apples of my cheeks, a little bit on my nose, just again to add some color to the skin. I love pairing a matte foundation with a beautiful highlight on the cheekbones, down the nose, a little bit on top of the lip. It really gives that beautiful balance, so even if you have oily skin, you can definitely have a beautiful dewy finish to your face without feeling super oily. On really casual days, I just tend to skip the winged liner and just go straight for a mascara. And I like to apply a few generous coats just to really build up the volume and length in my lashes. And just keeping it really simple for the lips, I'm just going to take a nude lip liner. This one has been so beautiful. I've been loving this color. It's by Kiko and it's this nice kind of nudie pink. So I just line and fill in my lips with this. And because it's waterproof, it will literally stay on the entire day. And I just love this color. So that is all that I'm going to do for my makeup. Really light and fresh and simple. And day to day, I love just keeping my hair up in a sleek ponytail, so I'm going to leave it just as it is. So 
once my makeup is done, I make myself some breakfast and I've been loving these oatmeal and fruit bowls. I've been obsessed with them, they're so good. So I take one part of oats with two parts of liquid. So I usually do one part water and one part almond milk or rice milk. And, blue skies. and then I add in some cinnamon and some organic raw cane sugar and just mix that all up. And this part kind of changes every day depending on what fruit I have, but recently I've been loving strawberries and blueberries. I also add on some walnuts, chia seeds, and sunflower seeds. This also varies from day to day. And that's my finished breakfast. It's super easy to make and very nutritious and filling. Last but not least, I gotta get my butt dressed. Today I chose these gray jeans and this faux fur vest. shoes I'm wearing these taupe colored boots which I've been obsessed with recently I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you can find me on my social media. I'm on Instagram and Snapchat, and both of those are at Annie Jeffrey. You can check out my latest videos right here in case you missed them. I hope that you guys are all having a really great day, and I'll see you guys soon.